Hi viewers, welcome back. This lecture is about electrical power. Electric work is done if a quantity of charge is moved between two points which are at a different electrical potentials. The formula for electrical work is W is equals to V times Q where W stands for electrical work, V is the potential difference and Q is the charge. The SI unit of work is the joule. One joule of work is done when a charge of one coulomb moves through a potential difference of one volt. Energy. Energy is the ability to perform work. Law of conservation of energy states, energy can neither be created nor destroyed but merely changed into other forms. Energy is equals to work done is equals to V times Q. Unit of energy is Joule represented by capital J. Electrical power. It is the rate per unit time at which electrical energy is transferred by an electric circuit. So power is equals to work done per unit time. And work done is equals to V times Q divided by time. So power is equals to voltage multiplied by current. Unit of power is watt represented capital W. The formula for power is VI. If we replace I, so it comes V divided by R. So V multiplied by V divided by R becomes V square upon R. Simply, we can write V also as IR. So VI becomes I square R. Here we are using Ohm's law. Power triangle. So in top is P and in bottom is IV. So power is equals to I times of V. If we have to determine bottom quantity, then we have to divide upper quantity with the bottom one. So in the second one, I is equals to P divided by V. And similarly for V is equals to power divided by current. So with the help of power triangle, we'll be going to solve one problem. So that will be going to clear our concept on this one. Find the power if voltage is 4 volt and current across the device is 2 ampere. So here we have to find out quantity P, which is on the upper side of the triangle. So power becomes I times of V. Here we have been given voltage 4 volt, current 2 ampere and power we have to find out. So power is equals to V times of I. Power becomes 4 volt multiplied by 2 amperes. It will be 8 watt. Now we will be going to calculate the power in series and parallel circuit. The total power dissipated in both the series and parallel circuit is equal to the sum of the power dissipated in each register in the circuit. So it simply means that if we are using a series circuit or a parallel circuit, power will be additive. Total power will be the sum of individual power across each component. So here, first we will calculate for series, then we will find out for parallel. And if whatever we have stated is true, then we will treat it like this, that power in series and parallel circuit is always additive. So here we have a voltage source, then we have two resistances, R1 and R2, which are connected in series. In series, current is same. So power P1 across resistance R1 is equals to I square R1. Similarly, power P2 across resistance R2 is equals to I square R2. When we, when we will be going to add these two quantities, P1 plus P2, it becomes I square R1 plus R2. And we know that for series circuit, the effective or equivalent resistance is R1 plus R2. So P effective will becomes I square times of R effective. So here, if we will add more components in series, the power will become PT is equals to P1 plus P2 plus P3 plus and so on. Now, same thing we will derive for the parallel circuit. So in parallel circuit, we know that voltage across the resistance are constant. Here in this example, in the left hand side, we have a voltage source. 
and two resistances R1 and R2 which are connected in parallel. So power across resistance 1 which is P1 is equals to V square divided by R1. Similarly, power across resistance 2, P2 is equals to V square divided by R2. Now we will be going to add these two powers P1 plus P2. So it will become V square which is common bracket 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. And as we know in a parallel circuit 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 is equals to 1 upon R equivalent or R effective. So power effective will become V square divided by R effective. So here also we have derived that if we will connect more components in parallel, the total power will become P1 plus P2 plus P3 and so on. So here also it is simply calculated that if devices are connected in series or parallel, power will always be additive. Energy in an electrical circuit. Energy transferred is equals to power multiplied by time. And we know that power is equals to current into voltage. So we have two formulas for energy transfer. With the help of first formula, we will be going to find out energy, power or time if any one of the variable is not known to us and two other variables are available to us with the help of energy triangle. So here energy we will be going to write in the top and power and time as they are in the multiplication that we will be going to write in the bottom one. Industrial energy unit is kilowatt hour. It is calculated based upon the power rating of the appliance and the time appliance is on in hours. Power rating of the appliance is normally given in watts. To get this power rating of appliance in kilowatt, we have to divide this watt by 1000. And we have to multiply this with time in hours. And the resultant will be kilowatt R. One kilowatt R is one industrial energy unit. Maximum power transfer. Maximum power is transferred when the value of that load resistance is equal to the equivalent resistance of the supplying network. Power versus resistance curve shows that when load resistance is equals to source resistance maximum power is transferred in the circuit. So here we have come to the end of this session. If you have found this video interesting, then please like the video, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.